Hey guys, this is Condor 98 again, and today I'm going to be talking about my my second update for my model rocket. So here it is, and it's a lot different than when you guys saw it last time, and that's because I did a cool paint job on it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I really ask you to be honest. I won't be sad or offended or anything, but please be honest and tell me how the paint job looks and if I did a good job or if it doesn't really look good so please be honest and um, I won't I won't be sad or anything okay but don't but don't leave bad comments on purpose like bad words or something just tell me the truth about how the paint job looks okay so I painted the whole thing black and what's really cool about this paint is I didn't have just regular black spray paint I used this oven spray paint so this is resistant to about like 200 300 degrees the paint of course, the cardboard tube's not going to resist, but the paint is. So that's going to be cool in case the rocket lights on fire or something. I'm going to look forward to see what happens. And uh, I painted, I spray painted it all black. First, I spray painted the cone, and then the body, and then both at the same time to make it a nice even. I put three even coats of black paint to make sure that it's resistant, and if you scratch it, it won't, like, come off. Well, actually, it did right there. A little bit, but I ha I ha I'm gonna fix that. Okay, so here it is, and as you guys noticed, there's some signs on it. Well, let me show you. One right here, and one right here. And I decided, hmm, what to name this rocket? And I didn't want it to name it like a V2 rocket or an A4 or anything like that, because well, it isn't. So I decided to name it Black Fire. And the the reason I decided to name it that was because obviously it's black, and because I don't think there is such thing as black fire, and this will this should go pretty fast since it's really light and everything, so I named it black fire, and I actually wrote that in four different languages, right here, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. You guys can tell me Schwartz, uh, Führer, Führer or whatever Schwartz Führer. Uh, this is German, and this means this means black fire. This is Russian, uh, Yephim Orhem, Yep Beam Orben. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not Russian or anything, I'm actually Romanian. But anyway, this is it. This is in Korean, it's actually this way. No, hold on. like this. And this is Chinese, simplified version. Because the other one was really hard. So yeah, this is the tip, the paint is coming off because I accidentally used the wrong type of paint on here. I couldn't use the spray paint because that's too small of a job. I'm going to get rid of that and either paint it back or just paint the top black, like the rest of the body. So you guys can leave comments about this. What should what should I do? The paint is flaking, so I'm going to remove that for sure. Um, Yeah, this is pretty much it. This is my number two update. Here's when the engine will go. I took out the plug for the painting because I didn't want it to stick to the body tube and then leave a mark when I pulled it off. Um, I actually used a different type of paint for this. I used white out, the the kind for paper. I'm gonna probably be using that on here too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, leave, like I said, leave any comments you would like to share with me and tell me what I should do different. Uh, you guys notice these glue, hot glue things. And while you might think they look bad, I actually think they look kind of cool, and this is the reason why. If you guys ever seen, like, an amateur weld, well, this is kind of what it looks like. There's globs and blobs of welding material, so I think it looks pretty cool. It kind of makes it look more like a metal rocket or something. So anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please, like I said, subscribe and leave comments. And uh, make sure to stop in for update number three. Thanks and have a great day.